back in Panama for round three with Mac and Carol Paget and the lovely Miss Shelley. Only this time, we're not only fishing offshore, we're going fishing in the Panama Canal. Are you kidding me? And there's a little bit of a rivalry brewing amongst the guys and the girls to see just who can catch the most fish. Brought to you by Cryptech, the only battlefield to backcountry camo in the world. Now everyone knows that besides fishing, Panama is also famous for that big ditch they dug from one side of the country all the way to the other side called the Panama Canal. It's a busy place all year round. You know that nearly 15,000 ships pass through the Panama Canal every year, and over one million have transited the canal since it was opened. Economies around the world depend heavily on its use to transfer goods from one country to another and from one ocean to another ocean. Of course, if you didn't use the Panama Canal, that would mean you'd have to take a ship all the way down around South America and back up the other side to get to Europe. And not all flat here. It is full of rocks. Gotcha. But it's good for fishing because pickled bass, they love structures or yeah. something. So. Underwater pinnacles. Exactly. You will see. Structure. Well, let's catch one. Of course, if there's water, there must be fish. And if there's fish and the Rugged X team is anywhere close to it, we're going to go and try doing a little fishing. The fishing started out kind of slow, but we started to catch a few little ones. Then, of course, the ladies started putting Woo! on it. Bigger. Nice. Did you hear that? Bigger. That's what you said. Yeah, that's a good job. Nice, right? Go forward to multiply. Give them a kiss. That's for good luck. <laughs> like some kind of a dream come true. I mean, here you are fishing in one of the most exotic places on earth in the Panama Canal. Look at the size of that boat going by. Hey, look. How cute is that? Need another worm. All right. Look at my fish. Warm. Warm. Let me see. Oh, it's pretty. This is one of those things where the girls are cheating because they're using bait. And I think Richard's sucking up to the girls in the boat because me and Mac are using lures and we haven't caught anything for a while. So I think that uh, it's uh, either time to change or make the girls quit fishing one of the two. So I'm not getting embarrassing. Luckily, I finally redeemed myself. Yeah. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but there we go. Mondo Grando. We decided to sneak back into the flooded jungle along the canal and try and get in a little fishing back in there, when lo and behold, what do we find but some wildlife that said, hey, can we be on TV too? Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go, little buddy. So not a bad day. Here in the canal we got a snook, which was an added bonus. I didn't even know they were in here. We got peacock bass, we got tilapia, we got a couple different kinds of peacock bass families, so that was a cool deal. Mondo Grando. Got to see some monkeys. 
two kinds of monkeys, the howler and the white paste. You know, you come down here just thinking, ah, well, we're just going out fishing, then it turns into some kind of wacky adventure, or I guess a rugged expedition. That was awesome. I think we need to do this again sometime. Between fishing the Panama Canal and flying out to the gorgeous Tropic Star Lodge, the girls decided we need to see the sights of Panama City. Now, seeing the sights translated to guy terms, that means they want to go do some shopping. When in Panama, of course you've got to buy a Panama hat, right? Ten dollars, I love that one. That's a beautiful hat. That's nice. This is the 47th hat shop we've been in. We have to find the perfect one. Okay, let's go to the next one, number 48. So, of course, we had to go see the sights as well in Panama City, which is pretty cool to do. Here comes a robin. <laughs> Arriving at the remote and absolutely gorgeous Tropic Star Lodge the next day, the girls came up to us and said, hey, we want to have a little fishing tournament. I think that sounds like an awesome idea. I think it sounds important. I brought a little special surprise. <laughs> a little love basin. Uh, I might have a special surprise. <laughs> We're going to go catch Not as special as ours. But. I know it. But you know, I think we should put some money on this. <laughs> oh. Gold coins? Gold Ooh. coins. I think, what do you think, Shelly? So what are we I going? I think so, too. Are we going for biggest fish of the day, then, or mm. for the boat? Because mm. count is going to be hard, and I know you guys cheat, so okay. I don't know how to I say the Biggest first, fish of the day? Biggest fish of the day, and the first fish. It's fish. Only it's easier first to fish. count fish. The girls decided to fish inshore for some of the unique species found there, while Mac and I decided, hey, we need a tuna fix. Uh, go on, Jesus squad. Woo! Money maker. This is my Jane Fonda workout for the morning. <laughs> so when we get these perfect sized bait, they're perfect for roosters. So oh, this got it? Oh, you're caught. Oh, that's perfect. This, Shelley. my friend, is what caught catches a rooster fish. It's perfect. Another one. You're gonna get worn out catching all the bait. Got it? Go. Doesn't matter. You want you gotta get some It's gonna be the big one. I know it. Come on, I wanted you to get your rooster thousand fish dollars all back. over this. Not any line. I'll be here just to like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is nice. If they you put need like a foot massage. Or they a put hand it massage. in the chair for you right away. <laughs> this is a good boat. Yes, it is. The anticipation of what is going to pop up. I know it. What do you think it is, Shelly? I don't know. It's like a present. I'm Drink water, wine, anything. <laughs> I want to get it in the boat. You're going to see it any minute. Uh oh, here's the leader. Any minute. Got the leader. Go down. What do we have? Cabera. Cabera. A Cabera snapper. Snapper? Cabera, snappa. Huh? Snappa? Cabera. Cabera, you get to write that on the list. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Woo! Let's get it in there. Good job. 
Whoa, look at Beautiful. that. Beautiful. Woo! Way to go, Carol. Thank you, Shelly. Good job. Swim away. Be free. Whoa. How did yeah. it feel, Carol? It's How did it feel? so fail? fun, Shelly. Good start to the day. Woo! Look at our friends. <laughs> you know, I met Mac a number of years ago. He loved to fish. He was a fishing fool. And uh, it took me a while to get invited to go fishing with him because it was kind of his thing. He, uh, you know, finally showed up with a box of cold PBR. He said, okay, you can come. But you know, he fished and fished. What I noticed he wasn't catching. Now he did drink a few PBRs, but I had to help him out a bit, you know, as I got there, I said, maybe we should try a different technique. Finally, he was catching fish all the time. Amazing. Now, I don't think I got the credit right off. But finally he realized either I was helping him out or I was a good luck charm. Right, come on. in different places. These guys are throwing out plugs, just manhandling this thing. And uh, we started casting different ways. And I said, hey, you know, the zero spook I said, have you walked the dog? And it's really quite a cool little cast. You go back and forth. It took me a while to teach them how to do it because they just want to just, you know, chunk everything out there. Once they got it, they were nailing fish. So sometimes they just need a little bit of coaching and feedback from other people. That's the hat. Whoa! Sierra! Whoa! Do it, Carol! Right, gracias. Walking the dog. That's what happened. Not really how you're supposed to hook them all the time. But <laughs> oh, it is in his mouth. The other hook just came around, bit him in the side. Oh, there he is. Not done yet, that one. Thank you. 
Rugged X double, eh, Mac? Okay, let me So, now Smith, you've come all the way to Panama to catch tuna. You've just caught a couple. How did it feel? Well, I'm just glad I could spend time with you, Mac, and that the girls are off and busy. I'm sure they're just buried in tuna as well. But it's too bad they're not here so we can show them some of our great technique that we've learned. Because, you know, through the years, we've done our best to try and show the girls how it's done. But sometimes, you know, they need a little more coaching than others. So it's too bad they couldn't be here for this little part. But this went out of ways. I'll help you. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. Look over there, Jeff. Whoa! Look at it. Coming up. It's a snapper. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's a pretty one. Woo! Uh-oh. Digging it up. Look, Shelly. Hurry, hurry! Oh, hang on to it. <laughs> bye, bye fish. Bye bye. Oh, cool. Woo! That Good was job. fun. Cheers. Cheers. Here to a great day <laughs> out on the ocean on together. The ocean. We got some nice fish too, yeah. didn't we? <laughs> we got something new today, so that's exciting. Say what? We got something new today. We got something new. Yeah. And it's a trophy. It's a yeah. trophy fish. Trophy fish. It's a trophy fish. Thank you. Thank you. Got we had a good day. day. Got a yeah. good day. Hello. Hola. 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 It was awesome. We started out with a bang. Big bang. And then we kind of. Did you miss <laughs> us all day? Barely okay. got by without us. Yeah, we do. That's the story. I That's heard you caught story. big tuna. That's too bad. We I'm did. sure that did you? Rock the tuna. Did you? Back of course. We got a Cobera. Yeah, 50 pound mm -hmm. Cobera. Wow.